Hey everyone, this is Joanne Allberger, proud wife of William Allberger. I'm so sorry, um, I uh, screwed up and didn't know how to start the uh, Facebook Live. So here we are, live, take it away, Bill. Hi, I'm Bill Allberger, I'm a uh, wood artist. Uh, thank you for tuning in and um, I'm thrilled that somebody cares about what I do here enough to maybe tune in. So thank you and thanks for all you people who have uh, made this possible and and also the, all the customers that you know, encourage me and uh, buy things from me. Okay, I hope you're not sick, uh, you're not having too much anxiety through this different time in history. I'll try to keep this exciting, but it won't be. I'll, I'll probably say things you've heard me say before, if you've been in my booth before. Um, I think Joanne's working on a page that's going to have things that are available now. It, uh, it is available now. Oh, that page is available. On the website. But I don't know if prices are on there yet. So I'm going to show you while we're right here. I'll show you a few pieces uh, that I've been working on. I have a, uh, a nice creek behind the house, which is nice when it looks like it does now. Um, but when it gets flooded, it's uh, very nerve-wracking, and I worry. But right now, it's very nice, so it's a good backdrop. All right, I will show you what I've been working on very recently. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I do. This is a piece of uh, pine. This is uh, some barn wood. They're my two mediums. Uh, I recently um, got together with a buddy of mine who's a uh, master glass artist and uh, mosaic, uh, Tim Dorlin. This, um, he's helping me learn how to do uh, the... Um, it's called mosaic, where you, you glue glass and, and grout it. <clears throat> and uh, we had fun working on this stuff together. And I'll show you another one over here. Uh, this one we just completed. This is a piece of old uh, barn wood. And, uh, a, you know, what I think is a good piece of glass that um, goes behind the hole in the wood. So the hole turned into a good thing, I think. Come on over this way, hon. Do you want to tell us about the top of this piece, hon? Uh, the top, uh, normally I would have brushed out those runs, but I just kind of liked them, so I left them. I uh, hope somebody likes it. These are uh, almost finished mirrors. Uh, this is uh, some spalted maple that was one of my best finds uh, with fallen wood around the neighborhood here. This is the barn wood. Uh, there is uh, some ash and barn wood. They'll get mirrors in them, like this one over here. <clears throat> and if uh, I think I'd like to just show, um, you know, just give a little idea of what happens here, show you my shop. And uh, um, I, I have many things that have fallen into place uh, for this whole thing to happen. Um, uh, I get to do what I like to do. My, my, one of the things that have fallen into place, my uh, wife uh, happens to be a bit of a techie. I am not. Um, and she learns things to, you know, to help uh, with the computer things that help me with this business. And, and she does a lot, including talking me into this uh, interview, which maybe you can tell I'm a tad uncomfortable with and I have papers to read. So... <laughs> Uh, but we'll, we'll keep going. The pro this property uh, here gives me, you know, outside space and room to, to store wood and stuff. It's got the creek. Um, you know, it was not an expensive property. I bought it uh, many years ago, not really fully knowing how I was going to utilize it. So, like I said, a lot of things are falling into place. Um, the adjoining property, which uh, we may get to if we don't run out of time, is on the other side of those weeds and uh, woods. 
Uh, that's owned by my neighbor, uh, neighbors Ken and Martha. Re they've been retired for a while now. Ken set up a sawmill a few years ago, and Martha, his wife, supports me and, and encourages me in many ways, including buying my art. And they're not the kind of people that uh, normally buy uh, things like that, uh, especially expensive things. When I started 30 years ago, it was mostly uh, weathered barn wood and found things, and now thanks to Ken, I have an unbelievable supply and choice of wood. You may see some of the piles when we walk around, and um, so now I'm using, uh, it's all fallen trees, we're not cutting fresh trees, and uh, Ken slices them up. He'll put anything on that saw, no matter how time consuming or difficult. Uh, we've, we've almost ruined his saw a few times, uh, and he's okay with it. He even finds the right logs and drags them to the saw now that he knows kind of what we're looking for. Um, lately, another semi-retired neighbor is helping, uh, and I can't keep up with either of them. They act like I'm the boss, and I like that, and I go with it. Uh, <laughs> I need to nap by two o'clock. They don't. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's take a quick peek at the shop. And um, and for those of you who are just joining us, uh, this is Joanne, the proud wife. And we've never gone live on Facebook before. And I screwed up. I I thought I should I could just click the link, and the iPhone was not showing me any possible way to make this video. So let's hear it for the Android phone that saved the day. To take a quick peek at uh, my shop. It's a little bit cluttered. Uh, thankfully, I cleaned it up a little uh, before this uh, video. 